What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We have Team Jobber's own Rob Loa going head to head with Jared Flora. I'm joined by YBM's own Petey Tran and Aaron McInnes from Team Zodiac as we get this one underway. No biased commentary here, I think. I don't know either of these people personally, so Ooh, it's going to be analytical. Looks like Rob has stuck in with the uh, Minerva Sword, unless this is ABC all of a sudden. Uh, I would hope not. Minerva Sword all yeah. the way to the floor. We were never summoning Buster Dragon. Uh, shout outs to Calvin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can, you can always play ABCs in your Minerva. Oh, deck. Wolf off the bat. No Maxi either. Looking good. We know he's probably up against Metal Foes unless Jared switched decks last minute as well. We've seen that kind of switch from players like Ed. I don't know uh, if other players tend to take that approach, though. Uh, was he playing 44 last, last round? Do you I remember? Not, no. I did a lot of playtesting with uh, Cody, and um, for some reason, a lot of the times, the Minerva deck cannot like play against the Minerva, uh, Metal Foes deck. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah, usually, but they like... have to open broken like this. Yeah, Omega's usually not enough. It's Omega Toad even sometimes just isn't enough. Loa Bulb. Uh, oh, Nappy's place. Are we going place. to see a Nappy's? Nappy's place. Are we going to see a Nappy's? Uh, oh, that, oh, that's why he runs to Earth. Oh, next level. Oh, my gosh. So we, now it's like, did you draw a centric buddy? Oh, he has got a Fairytale Snow and Grave. This is actually his disorder. <laughs> oh, my God. Rob Loa, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and that's why there's no rare fish. This makes so much more sense now. Oh wait, is there no fairy tale? Okay, my bad. I thought I saw one. So the centric isn't out. Yo, yo. Wow, Nappies. that Nappies play. Yeah, there's no snow. I really no like snow. that. There's no snow loader. Yeah, yeah I, I was wondering why he was playing hat trick in his deck, and then uh, now I see the gold build. The goo. Yeah. And this is also when I build that plays Toad. So this is a really tight extra deck. He's also playing 40 cards, but he cut the Brilliant Fusion engine. Yeah, there's no Brilliant, uh, so the Hat Tricker kind of makes up for that with the additional summoning. Yo, is this about to be a scoop phase? Oh, there's a oh. Centric. Never mind. The out straight to hand. Thank you for that for turn as well. What a man. What an answer. Oh, disgusting. Oh. Wow, and he oh. has Infinity. This man slow rolled it too. Yeah, he, he was just, I guess he was playing out his entire turn, because, like, oh, he might be able to just game him, to be honest. Oh, gosh. It looks so good for Rob. Yeah, rest in pepperoni, Rob. You did your best, man. He missed a fairy tale by one, by a couple minutes. Yeah, that would have been so sick if he loaded snow there, too. Yeah, we can't let Rob have everything. He had instant and glow bolt, so that's fair enough. Ooh, oh my goodness. It just gets sicker and sicker like me. Yeah, my, my throat's definitely oh. pretty scratchy right now. I feel like... This man. Bull flames everywhere. This might be game, actually. Yeah, that's what game. I was thinking. As long as he has a low scale. We haven't seen one yet. I can't imagine all those cards in the low scale. That'd be so sick. I mean, no, one's a full flame, one's a monolith. And then there's two unknowns. <sighs> and Kieran for the low scale. Ouch. Oh no. Um, pretty sure this still might be a game. We never need a Kieran. Dang, I man, I had Kieran too. What, what a legend. We're always scaling, Kieran. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh, that's why he was thinking. I'm pretty sure he Man, opened both. Wild. He's just trying to figure out if he wanted a rapid or a centric the the nat beast. Multiple outs in the opening hand of the nat beast. So sick. Poor poor guy not having snow. Yeah, I got 13 cards. He was gonna find one. This man's actually just insane. Oh, uh, that kind of sucks. He, uh, he probably banished the quick play. I'll be right I mean, it's, it's definitely still a game. I 
As long as you, yeah, as long as you get targets from rabbit, this is pretty, pretty sure it's a game. On their goal drivers too. Yeah, this this is so game. Rob never won to scoop. So yeah, and I just pretty sure he's making a throw in. Uh, seven. Oh, okay, that works too. Because <laughs> why not? Everyone is spamming the Utopia. <laughs> yeah, Rob's matches always seem to have a couple of Utopias in them. 31, 29, yep, that's gonna be it's over by 12. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Jared takes game one though. To th through a Nat Beast. So if you were thinking of playing Nat Beast with Zodiac, I hope that deters you. They were never drawing at the time. That was so rough for Rob. Yeah. But we always like to take this time to thank our sponsors, PPG, Troll and Toad, and the people of Zodiac and the Zodiac commentary themselves. Without any of these factors, we wouldn't have awesome free tournaments for you guys with prizes. Yeah. Well, pretty, pretty insane game one opening by both players. One has happened to count, the other... Perfectly. Yeah, back to fourth. That was crazy. Never thought that game was over, and then he's like, no, but we're good over here. So, what's the prizing for the finals right now? Um, it's a box, right? Something like that. John? Uh, yeah, first place should be a, an entire box of the new set. I wonder if they can choose uh, the newest set coming out next month. So yeah, there's, there's that, and then the next month's free entry, of course. All right, Rob's getting to start off one more time. After showing a Nat Beast, I imagine that's the last time he's going to be opening. Oh, so many Earths in this deck, actually. Yeah, like, it, I didn't notice the game, honestly, I never saw the bulb, but, like, it, it makes a lot of sense. Like, he, like the, but he also has the Goblinburg and the Tin Goldfish, so... He's got a lot, of, a lot of different lines of play he can take with the deck. This time he's going to have Snow, if he can get to blow a bulb. But can he get enough milled? Oh, that's interesting. He's, I guess he's going to try and just go for the Norden play. Or, uh... Yeah, the toad. Okay. Yeah, there it is. And he is using the effect. So he might have another gigabyte or something like that. <coughs> I Rob said another anti spell. Okay. I guess he values the body on board more than anything. And we start with Scout again going second. Yeah, it's interesting keeping it in going second. Maybe he figures he Weird. Needs this kind of thing against uh he kinda needs this kind of uh excess power against the deck like Minerva Sworn to where uh, Infinity is really good against Minerva. Um, I, I I still, like, I don't think I'd keep it in personally. Like, even if I did open it, I wouldn't ever fusion with it or make the Infinity with it because most of the time they have the the Fairy Tail. So, like, the best thing that this engine does is, like, just give you more fusion fodder. And he takes the scout. 2800 wall. And adds a chicken bite back. Getting jiggy with it. So he has two toads in his extra. 
Oh, he doesn't pay 100 for that? Oh, he's still well, it was a, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, Toad doesn't do effects, okay. sadly. Somebody in the chat not... said pay 100, and I looked up and there was no 800. I don't think I agree with uh, taking the scout, actually. Really? Yeah, really. last time he clogged his board with a uh, odd-off monster. Yeah, um, not... In this situation, I think it's like less relevant, but I don't know. We shall see. Eccentric. This man always has a centric. You are not wrong. Oh yeah, taking the scout actually. Well, I, I think taking the scout it, wasn't bad. Since he negated it, it would have gone to graveyard. Now it's gonna go to extra. When he eccentric pops it and give him a resource for later. That, that's, I don't know, that's not super relevant. It I don't can think. be later in the game. You don't want things to come back and get you. But, like, I'd rather have it right now to prevent me from getting a TK than potentially give my opponent another turn. I can see that, but you have a snow also that they have to deal with as a resource I mean, on top of a 2600 Bahamut. I mean, the snow, like, it would banish literally his entire board, which is also on the field, so... He already has five in Graveyard, and if he starts dealing with the board, the snow will come back later. I'm just saying there's a lot to already deal with, with the 2600 monster, the 2000 in there, but then the snow for its second resource. Like, I feel like it was fine letting it die. Yeah, or the, or the other line of play would just like to not even negate the scout. There's just a lot of a lot of things the metaphor deck does. It's hard to play around at all. Yeah, with that one card gone, you could have waited to, for what you thought is the right scale, maybe. Because... Yeah, the eccentric and the painful though, so. Yeah. It was rough. Yeah. There's gonna be a Mithrillium. Uh, does he have the bounce or no? Yeah, he does. He does have the bounce. So... So there goes Minerva, and he's going to be able to crash with Bahamut. So yeah, no, he's going to eccentric to Bahamut, I'm pretty sure. And then just, yeah, bounce the Minerva. Oh, the scout. That's kind of odd. Yeah, see, now he's gonna ram so that he can just summon Bolt Flame, but now the graveyard's loaded enough for Snow to come back. Yeah, I guess he just values that board wipe, like, a lot. No, he's just gonna set Emptiness. Uh, that's, that's that's legitimate play. Like, if you have the Emptiness, there's no reason to give your opponent a card to destroy. If he does have emptiness, I'm pretty sure he sets counter or a combination here instead of a uh, quick play. We haven't seen emptiness at all in the top four in the finals, so we shall see if we get through the entire matches with it. It's only best two out of three, right? Uh, yes, yeah. right. All right. <clears throat> what was that? That was a quick play. Bismarck here for it. Yep, looking pretty gruesome for Rob's side. But he does have that snow. It just depends on... It gives him one additional play, so the two cards in his hand have to be monsters. Because he already uses Norton. Gotta hit an additional play or have it in his hand already. Nope, Maxi and Chaco.
Well, there's okay, the so extender. Got... Yeah. This is the level 4 Earth target. So then what can he do? Um... I don't know. I'm not sure if he runs too Minerva's. I guess we'll find out after this. Because there isn't really much he can do, because he's got the Alka has played to interrupt anything. And that mystery back row. Yeah, it's just a rough position. Yeah, there's just not a lot that Rob can do right now. Yeah, his Mills just definitely didn't get him enough turn one. And there's the second Minerva. Okay, so there are two in this deck list. Oh, he's letting him mill. Maybe that whole day. And... Does he have an emptiness or something? There's this is what one. happens when and you don't stone. hold A. Held A, shake my head. Oh, okay, so we have probably... Wait. Okay, oh, he's referring to the Alcahest. I'm pretty sure. His yeah, hurdle struggle is not holding A. He said he did. That's yeah. happened to me where I've held it and it didn't work. Yeah, I feel that. Like, I don't get it. I'm, I hold A on camera and sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. Not what you can do sometimes with computers. Ooh, and the Gigabyte. Jeesh. He had a lot of extenders. He should still be fine with an Alka his here, though. Yeah, but he would have been in a way better predicament if yeah, uh, no, the Alka's play went through. It is, well, like, the wolf, it doesn't look like it's making anything right now, so... It just all depends. Barrel. So he's getting another, there's another big body on board. And a Book of Moon Devolve I don't think like... he should let this fairy... Th oh, is there another fairy town grave? Yeah. Yes, there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So that Alkahist is just turning off right now. Not really. Well, anytime nope. he gets something, that's going to get flipped down. But he still gets the, the effect that's of... That's kind take... of interesting. Isn't that kind yeah, of so now... zone snow off? Yeah, his grave's definitely going to... Like, he has to get rid of cards on hand or be able to resolve it. I guess he just understands that... Fairy Tail Snow does very little versus this deck. So I'm assuming Instant Fusion is in his hand or something? He already used two. I guess he's just trying to draw into a relevant trap card. That's all I can see this at being. Yeah, if he got to D Barrier, that's huge. Agreed. It's one of the. One of the comeback plays Rob's got. He's hitting the trap. Actually, I'm pretty sure it has to be Barrier, because Anti-Spell can get played around with the Quick Play Fusion that's still set. Jared Flora. Yeah, it's not looking good for Rob right now. He, he took Minerva Sword all the way. He's playing some really cool stuff. He's playing uh, the Warrior with Instant Fusion. Uh, uh, or, yeah, so that he can, like, Wolf Wolf and make that beast. And he made it, but then they summoned the Sin Trick. It's kind of sad. Who you talking to? Sarah McInnes and uh, Peter Train. Ooh, is my man PT? What's up, PT? I'm, I'm, I'm oh, blocking yeah. you. What are you saying? Dang. She can't. She can't hear him. But uh, he, he's at least blocking you. Yeah, he's blocking you. Peter's always blocking you. Ah, uh, and there's a Bumbuku. It just it gets a little bit worse for uh, Rob here. Yeah, that, that, that like made this position. Yeah, I'm really, pretty really... sure it's just sealed here. 
We're always top decking them, Goku. We're all the Ooh, Maxi, but. Yeah, I'm not sure what that does at this point. Maxi and two snows loaded after all the resources are expended. Yeah. You better have his own speedway Menko. He needs it. Why do why do bad things happen, Jackie? Oh, okay. It's because Jackie doesn't reply her messages. Oh, you don't reply yeah. to your messages, huh? Weird. Peter, when you respond with "ha ha yeah," what am I supposed to say? Ooh. You're never gonna get a text. That, that's, that's like that's texting a girl responded. like "hey" every time. Yeah, you never ask "hey." You say "hey." How was your day today? What'd you do? Ooh, Peter just goes. With the Jackie. Peter just goes. You dumb. Oh. And that's it. It's just like all right. Whoa, whoa, no, Jackie, Jackie, do not Yo, you, lie. Daddy, I can so. send screenshots right now. Yo, he said he's got screenshots. Every day. I, uh, oh, my God. If I go see and then the last thing that Peter said is I'm dumb or something like that, I'm going to get mad. See? The last thing he said, LMAO. What am I LMAO. supposed to say to that? <laughs> hey. hey I, I keep Peter's conversations going when that's what uh, he's talking There's a Regeki, too. So there's Jeez. only going to be one snow recurrence. It, yeah. And he's got the quick play live still. Yeah, the quick play's live. Oh Jesus, Rob got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Rob, you got destroyed. Jackie, what am I supposed to reply to when you send me Boneheimer? Uh, I don't know what that is, she left. Um. Well, here's the first snow gonna go off. Is there a reason that he didn't fusion prior to Battle Phase? Huh? That we, that we know of. Where is my charger? Because he's the man. I guess. This man had Regeki. Yeah, he had Regeki. And he didn't hit a single Lice Horn? Oh man, no Lice Horns. Never lucky. So 2,200, 800. That is 4,000 with a quick play fusion. That is game, ladies and gents. Should be. Menko is a level 4 that would go very well with a strategy. Ooh, it's only, it is a window, not an Earth 7. I know, but it's still a 4. That's true. Huh? This man's living. How so? Yeah, he passed the main phase too. Wait, what? He only got him to 33. How? <coughs> he only got him to 33. How's the way? I'm so confused. BM, BM. Like, honestly, that, that, that's what it feels like at this point. Like, there's no reason that this game should not be over. If he wanted to, all I did was fusion main phase one, and then he has the Mithrilium recurrence with the full thing. We were always giving Rob one more turn. Hey, Libby. Oops. Oh, jeez. Just Libby. Libby. Why is she always so excited for me? Why is she like He's me? also under Maxi. Uh, I... I guess he's scared of another fairy tale, but like you can game Wait, him through that, which wouldn't work out. Oh no! Oh, like this is double no. BM. Oof. Yeah, because they still made the Mithrilium after all that. Billy, any advice to the Blue Eyes players out here? Draw Melody, Angel Rules, and you've been there. <laughs> what else would you need in life? So, Instant Fusion's dead. Love you too, Libby. Thrasher's a great start for this dude. So like, how does how does he play through this? Because there's a Alkahis and a Kieran. I mean, I think you're supposed to try not to Kieran before you do anything else. Jackie, did you just like die? Ah, uh, jeez. That actually happens to me whenever Billy puts the cage in a place I don't expect. Mills too. Can he get lucky for once? No, it's, it's getting bounced. Uh, never mind. My bad. We were never getting lucky. See, I'm pretty sure he, if, like, the only chance he had was Thrasher attacking Kieran first to bait out one of the two, one of the two plays. Minerva, one last time. Can he do it? And he didn't hold any this time either. 
Never alpha histing. Ooh, we got a draw. We got a trick clown cool. too. Mambo combo. We just gave up on holding A. Pretty much. <laughs> we didn't need it. Huh. Weird. I mean, oh, right. there's been a match where I held A, where Dante was made three times and I was holding A each time to like handle the Dante, and like it never worked. I just held A uh, the moment. And... That's a trick on a defense. <laughs> that's not good. Oh dear. There's a snow to block. Uh, it's a bait for the snow. Oh, oh, well. Probably. Now he banishes the trick clown with the snow. And there goes the rest of his graveyard. Nah, he's gonna overlay, right? Oh yeah, but he's banishing the rest of his graveyard to overlay. When including the snow, ouch. Surprised there was no resource from hand that was better to, to remove than the other snow, but... Yeah, yeah true. You're, like... out, you're so out of resources already. That's the other yeah, issue. He can't running. even soul charge even if he wanted to. Yeah, that's the other issue with running a 40 card Minerva list. Like, I'm not saying like there's a better better version. I haven't tested any of them, but. He needed to summon. Next fairy tale. Heartland Draco, equip Megamorph, and have uh, have <laughs> something else to get rush reckless. <laughs> oh no. Well, there's Utopia. That's not game. Yeah, it's off by 12. He's just trying. There's still an Alka is here. Yeah, like... Battle phase. I don't even think I make the Alka's play. I just let it all happen. Ooh, the crash. Wipe, wipe the scale and wipe two back through it. You gotta sack something out here. Oh, oh, what was that, Aaron? We were never letting Minerva uh, crash with my attack mode, Kieran. I mean, he just had it not to outcast it. That's on him. We were never. You said never. Uh, I said we. I didn't say that. I said we, not him. Yeah. <laughs> Peter knows what's up. And there's the crash. And here's the mills. Ooh, glow up, bulb. Spicy. One last instant fusion. He has no more targets unless he plays Rare Fish for the third. Uh, the, the Earth Warrior's gone. Yeah, I think Jared just <laughs> has this. He's got a mill. What's he gonna mill? Sack it out. Oop, there goes Lila. And then Hatricker. Ooh, that would be pretty sick, huh? Nope. That's an aura calc target. Welp. Na 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 na. Yeah, pretty much. Na 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 na. And there goes Rob Lola out of the the finals. Respect. He played it out all the way through. That's some cute stuff in his deck. He was trying to join Ed on the echelon of Zodiac Champion, but instead he joins Ed as second place. Hat Tricker would have been the spice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he could have played around it, but it would have given him a fighting chance. Still would have been really cool. Yeah. And... One last time, Karen. Before we switch this tournament to Zoo. Ooh. Time for all the spice. Oh, the Wind Witches. Kieran in defense? What? 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 <coughs> I cannot tell what's going on anymore. Just finish this, man. Jared. Aaron, this is wild. What's going on? I cannot tell you. And he's going in with the Metal Post Fusion. He's summoning an Orichalc. And look, there's a defenseless Golopulb in the defense position. There goes Orichalc going in. I'm trying to be a Hype League uh, announcer right now. And there it goes. Double piercing damage through 100. Oh, by gosh. 5,400 damage ends this one, chaps. Did I do, my, did I do good there? League announcers are great. That's all yeah. I'm going to say on that.
Any final notes there, guys? That that piece was great. In the game yeah. One. Um, Congrats to our, to our winner. Um, whoever plays Metaphos wins, basically. All righty. There we have.